Hello everyone, and welcome to another Company Heroes 2 replay cast. My name is ATR, and today we're going to have ourselves a 1v1 on Samoski Winter. Our heroes today are going to be PSG Red X Wings, playing as the Soviets of the Blue Army. And his opponent in the red is going to be Wuhan Char, playing as the Red OKW, the Overcommando West. Now, about our players, Mr. Wuhan Char that we're looking at right now, at the time of casting this, is ranked 61 for his OKW play, so top 100 player right here. And Red Wings, you've probably heard of him a little bit more, and at the time of casting, he is ranked 16 for his Soviet play, so top 20 player right here, so pretty good. Should be a good match. Now, so far, as far as tech goes, we see that uh, Red X-Wings has gone for his um, uh, Tier 1 with the Soviets, and it uh, means that he is getting himself some penal battalions. Sorry, but that was moving something behind the scenes. Uh, yeah, so uh, he uh, opens up Tier 1 and goes for penal battalions. He does get himself two combat engineers, or well, an extra combat engineer than the one you start with. And then follows the penal battalion up with a scout car. So a very aggressive tier one opening. Very nice. Again, something a little bit more popular going on with the uh, Soviet side. Because conscripts have fallen out of favor for most people. So yeah, we're going to be seeing some penal battalions. For his opponent, Mr. Wuhan Char. Uh, Wuhan Char. He uh, is obviously not getting any tech just yet. Kind of hard to get any tech with the uh, OKW very early on. Usually you uh, don't have much to do with your half track to start with, but um, he is going for two Volksgren squads, which are already out on the field. Second one coming out right now, and then following that up with a Kubel wagon. Kubel wagons did take a nerf in the uh, well, not most recent, because I guess the most recent patch introduced some maps, which I never made a video of. So sorry about that, but um, you know, recent patches. Anyway, uh, scout card catches the uh, the half track out there in the open. Just opening up on it without much of an issue. Gonna run it down and take it out. However, there is a cool wagon on the field, so the uh, scout car needs to be a little bit careful. It is taking some damage there to the uh, to the Volksgrenz. And the half track uh, takes down, or well, the scout car takes down the half track and is stuck. <laughs> oh, that has got to suck. Yeah, the scout car basically got stuck inside the wreckage of the half track. Kubel Wagon tried to take it down. Uh, yeah, it's going to win. If it was at full health, it would have been a different situation. But with the support of the Volkswagen squad, the Kubel Wagon actually manages to take it out. And they're going to salvage all the wreckage over here. So that is not a good start there for Mr. Red Wings. But, yeah, I mean, I suppose he kind of, you know, came out okay considering he killed the... Half track, but the half track doesn't cost anything. It's just a matter of time before one comes back, and it's actually even ending up giving resources to uh, Wuhan Chao. So it, uh, so yeah, I mean, he he definitely got the short end of the stick there. That's gotta suck. So keep that in mind, guys. Make sure that your scout car is keeping a safe distance. You know, when you're driving, you have to make sure that there's at least one car length between you and the next car because if the car in front of you explodes, you end up inside that car and then you can't get out. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Anyways, more penal battalions on the field. One penal battalion up in the north forced to retreat to the Kubel. Second one heading up in that direction, but will probably suffer the same fate as the Kubel wagon is right there and waiting. It activates its suppression ability, but they manage to hide themselves through the hedge. No direct shot right there. So the Kubel wagon needs to move around. Stone Pioneer Squad does come in to inflict damage. The Penal Battalion is forced to retreat. It does have a decent amount of damage output against the Storm Pio, but the Kubel Wagon is just going to be a pain in their ass, so they retreat. More Penal Battalions coming into the field, so yeah, I mean, Red x wings very, uh, very fond of those. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know if he actually watch, watches the videos that I've done before, but is it... <laughs> Red, red, red X wings, uh, red wings or red X wings? <laughs> I don't know. I'm assuming it's red wings, and the X is just there to. I don't know. Whatever. If somebody knows, let me know. More Volkskrens on the field. The third one getting produced. We see the other Volkskren squad building something. Oh, sandbags up in the north. Interesting choice. 
Pino Battalion going to be falling right on top of them as they're building that sandbag. So it's going to get the drop on them and we'll be able to close the distance to get the, uh, the cover. They do actually end up suffering a decent amount of damage and did not put themselves in the cover. So the Penal Battalion is going to lose this engagement, even though they do have a lot of damage output, especially at that close range. But, well, there they go. They finally managed to eke out the uh, the engagement. Down to one man on that Volkswagen squad, but Storm Pio squad closes this distance and brings him down to two. Up in the north, Combat Engineer squad down to one man, forced to retreat, but it dies. And another big loss there for Red X-Wings. Another half track coming on out of the field. You know, Battalion retreating as the Storm Pios hold the line in that um, sandbags. And then the Kubel Wagon comes up and asks for a little bit of repairs. Up in the north, Penal Battalion with a flamethrower moving in. And they do have a nice flank there, but the Kubel Wagon does have superior sight range. So it is kind of difficult to flank it unless you are, you know hiding yourself behind hedges and such. So yeah, the cool wagon just turns around and opens up on the Penal Battalion. Penal Battalion not having too much luck. There's a second Penal Battalion coming up through the flank. Does not close the distance to get on top of the sandbags, even though those two men over here decided to just run into the uh, slaughter ring range or whatever. Because they were keeping their distance from the storm piles because of the damage they do at close range, but they decided to just simply run a little bit forward. Penal Battalion once again retreating. And Red X-Wing not really getting the upper hand in any engagement. Thankfully for him, though, he is doing a good job at capturing territory. And he has more than half the map in his possession. It looks like uh, Wuhan Shad is a little bit more content to holding this northern side. Not, not something you usually see. You see more people contesting the center rather than the north. But, I mean, he is setting up... He set up some sandbags, and that's where he's moving most of his troops rather than coming out through this field, which... Um, you know, it's fine. I mean, I'm just saying usually you see more people going in this direction towards the center rather than up over here in the north. He does end up actually building a mechanized regiment headquarters as well. So, yeah, I mean, you can tell that he is going to be focusing his strong point up in the north. Probably not going to be setting up a retreat point with the battle group headquarters, but still, I mean, that does provide him a more defensible position regardless. Harder to break. Any additional tech? No, no additional tech. We do have medics on the field. No additional things from that since Penal Battalions can't throw Molotovs. And yeah. Go wagon into the center. Oh, that was a nasty shot there. That was a Shrek have somebody? Who's shooting that? Oh, the rocket that were for there you go. Yeah, I was like, what, what the hell is shooting rockets? Yeah, Rocket the Warfare takes a nasty shot there at that Penal Battalion, killing two of them in one shot. The Kubo Wagon also just feeling pretty comfortable there in the center, opening up on all the infantry. We have more Penal Battalions coming in for a flank. Kubo Wagon clickly, clickly, yeah, it clickly turns itself around to phase the approaching Penal Battalions. One of them gets suppressed, the other one manages to hide behind the church, masking itself, and it could actually move up to get a flank on that Kubo. The Kubel Wagon really not taking much damage. We do have windows on that church, obviously, in that direction, so the Penal Battalion is able to open up, but it is a little bit more distracted on a lot of other infantry. Penal Battalion pops out. The other Penal Battalion uh, does not actually take their pre precision inside the church, as we do see a little bit of a flank coming up here by another Volkskren squad. So Wuhan Char, very nice. Now very aggressively pushing into the center once he has that position up north established. Volkskrams with Shreks now equipped, just in case any vehicle comes into play. And we can see that all the way to Tier 4. Tier 1 to Tier 4 for Red X-Wings. He, um... Yeah, I mean, this used to be very popular. It is a very risky maneuver to do because you don't you, you don't have access to AT guns. Uh, so you do rely on the SCU-85, essentially, to do your anti-tank play. Um, but, I mean, if you do a good job of keeping those on the field and such... Here should be fine. So Pino Battalion is just trying to hold the line here in that house down to three men. Probably going to have a retreat. Yeah, there you go. Volkskrens retreating. The Kubo Wagon taking some damage. Now veteran C2, but still quite active. Pino Battalion with flamethrowers forcing away the Volkskrens squad. And over on the right-hand side, we have another... Uh, no, that's the Combat Engineer squad engaging a Volkskrens squad that is currently in hold inside that house. And a Storm Pile squad that is capturing territory. So it needs to retreat. It does retreat. There comes the Penal Battalion to, the, to add to the engagement. Storm Pioneers 
probably going to be the target. Yeah, there they go. Storm Pioneer Spot getting flamed. They are going to... Oh, nice mine usage there by Mr. Red X Wings. And he uh, takes out that cool wagon quite handily. Puma now on the field for Wuhan Char. And we see an SU-76 getting built for Red X Wings. I believe we have seen him before, and he is quite fond of those, and I am quite fond of that unit as well. It is quite underused and quite amazing to use properly, so I'm glad that somebody at least keeps using them, and, well, I would uh, argue that he does rather well with them, considering his rank, so unless he's experimenting right now, uh, it should be, should be interesting. Doctrine selection for Mr. Wuhan Char. He goes for the Luftwaffe ground forces. Calls himself a Fallschirmjäger squad right inside that house. And immediately pops it out. The penal battalion takes massive damage and is forced to retreat. Nice little reaction there by Wuhan Char. Allows him to win the engagement over on the right-hand side. Puma moving up and engaging the penal battalion. The penal battalion does have the ability to throw satchels, but obviously it has a long fuse. So unless you have a vehicle that is disabled... Ooh, SU-76 moves up. It is focusing on vehicles right now. Takes a shot at the Puma. Puma backs off, takes a second shot, and misses a little bit, but there it goes. Huh. I mean, obviously it makes sense, but... Yeah, I mean, you can still use your barrage ability against the infantry, but you can keep the uh, SU-76 focused on vehicles only. Which is nice. Down south. Oh, nice. Fallschirm Jaeger squad inside that house. Forced to evacuate as the SC-76 throws the barrage. Down goes the house, removing the potential to spawn them right there. And the Fallschirm Jaegers move out. The Penal Battalion still hold. Oh, oh, very nice hit there on the mine. The Fallschirm Jaeger squad down to one man. Can it make it out? The Penal Battalion still do have free reign on it. They're getting some shots off, but it was a healthy one man. They hadn't taken too much small arms fire, so he actually makes it out of there alive. So, yeah, I mean, Red X-Wing doing a very good job mining all over the place. I hadn't even noticed the mines, really. Up north, the Puma is getting repaired there by the Mechanized Regiment headquarters. The half-track is still moving around in the center, or the new half-track. Puma takes a shot at the combat engineers. Down goes one of them, forced to retreat. Second shot flies, doesn't hit anything. Center map, we have more penal battalions with flamethrowers pushing up. We have Rocket and Warfers and Volksgrins. The Volksgrins will be able to hold against that uh, penal battalion quite well. SU-76 taking some shots at range. It is still told to hold fire, but it's currently told to actually shoot at that. Spots the Puma. The Puma is trying to go for the kill on the SU-76. The SU-76 is caught between uh, the Puma and everything else. The Puma trying to turn its uh, gun towards the SU-76. SU-76 moves out of the way, takes a shot. Finally, SU-76 returns fire. The Puma is going to be able to take out the SU-76, unfortunately, and down it goes. Rocket the Warfare adding its two cents in the form of a rocket into it. And the Puma is at about half health. Penal Battalion forced to retreat. Second Penal Battalion still trying to hold the line. We have another SC-76 getting brought onto the field for Red X-Wing. So he is quite adamant of having those Fallschirm Jaegers on the right-hand side. Stopping a Penal Battalion from capturing territory and forces them away. Can it actually take it out? They do have those FG-42 light machine guns. Yes, I know. It's right there. I can read it. I know what it's called now. Um... And uh, they do a lot of damage, but well, there you go. SU-76 back once again back on the field. The Puma retreating, moving back to the uh, reinforcement radius of the uh, the Mechanized Regiment headquarters. But the SU-76 is on the hunt. The Puma notices the SU-76, tries to move itself around, and the SU-76 is going to turn to face the Puma. It is in bad shape. Oh, this might not work. Uh, down to a sliver of health. Can they actually get the kill on the Puma? There it goes. Nice hit on the Puma. And the SU-76 finally manages to get a kill. <laughs> so, performing a little bit better than his previous uh, brother, whatever you want to call him, sibling, uh, ally. And SU-76 now has a little notch there under its belt. Pino Battalion pushing forward with flamethrowers. Racking the war for force to evacuate and retreat. It was down to very low amounts of health and two men, so... It's a very good idea there for Wuhan Shot to do. Oh, a nasty barrage there on top of the Volksgrenadier squad. The second shot hits the house, and the uh, Volksgrenadier squad manages to move out of the way. The uh, battle group headquarters is there, and it is 
been utilized to reinforce on the front. It doesn't have the retreat location just yet. SC-76 just messing up the cover over here, which is not a bad idea, considering that this cover is very easily uh, exploited, where you have your units in heavy cover and continuously reinforcing. So, you know, you want to remove as much advantage as your opponent can have. Pauschim Jaeger over on the southern fuel. The Pinot Battalion with a flamethrower moves up on top of them. The FG-42 is open fire and do a lot of damage to the Pinot Battalion, but the Pinot Battalion does have a flamethrower, managing to inflict one casualty. More flamethrowers go off, down to four men on the Pinot Battalion. Pinot Battalion trying to hold the line, but no. Three men left on the squad, and the Pauschim Jaegers are still three strong. SU-76 looking at the battle group headquarters, taking some shots, getting some hits. Pinot Battalion at the front forced to retreat. Shots continue to fly. And another barrage will soon come into play, I would assume. Yeah, it's uh, 10 seconds off. Shouldn't be utilizing it right away as there is nothing nearby, but, you know, it's always a threat. SC-76 just gets so good afterwards. Another SC-76 is getting produced for Red Wings. So, like I said, I mean, he's very fond of those tanks. Uh, or assault guns, I guess is what you would call them. SC-76 backing off. Uh, yeah, it is an assault gun. There you go. Backing off, uh, Racket and Warfare, not Racket and Warfare, uh, Shrek equipped uh, Volksgrenz popping themselves into the church. The Virage going off up into the north where there are three Volksgrenadier squads. The SC 76, though, is forced to cancel the um, the Virage ability as the uh, Shreks do inflict a lot of damage to it, bring it down to about 25% strength, and the Volks are able to make it out of there. All Volksgrenz moving up, Flamethrower going off in the back group headquarters, doing a little bit of damage, but not too much. Second AC-76 brought onto the field. Barrage goes off. Oh, nasty hit there on a mine. The uh, Volkswagen squad down to one man. We see the uh, Barrage ability hitting the uh, shack in front of it and collapsing it. And uh, Penal Battalion forced to retreat straight through the path of another Volkswagen squad. So AC-76, you know, starting, starting to do something. Eight kills on one and probably no kills on the other. Yeah, it didn't actually do anything but destroy a house. Still, a lot more mines getting laid down for Red X-Wings. He is actually getting very nice hits with those mines. I mean, we have another mine up over here, which can get hit. Very nice, very nice. Another Puma getting produced for Wuhan, Wuhan Char. And uh, his racket and warfare is getting healed up and reinforced. One of the perks of having that up at the front. And... Yeah, I don't know what the hell and why it's doing that, but I guess there's not much I can do about it. Maybe later on, near future, I can upgrade my video card and hopefully that'll fix it. But yeah, I mean, I did a clean install of windows and I still get those random freezes, which have no explanation. I mean, it's not the RAM. I have more than enough RAM. I have 16 gigs on the computer, so that game doesn't de definitely doesn't take up that much, but I don't know. Seems to do that stutter stuff for some reason. Anyway, Spino Battalion pushing up into the center, getting some nice shots in there. This Spino Battalion on the left is just getting battered down to one man. Looks like it's going to make it out of there alive. SC-76. Oh, never mind. The Racket the Warfer throws a shot, snipes the retreating squad, although it does collapse itself. May have actually been the Volksgrandier squad, but I want to think it was the last dying shot of the Racket the Warfer before it got eliminated in the collapsing house. Spino Battalion. Pretty much getting ignored as the Volksprints just continue to push forward. Shots from the uh, from the SU-76 are able to pepper the uh, the Volksprints and get some kills on them. Even though, again, it is not designed against infantry. It will, once in a while, kill infantry. So, uh, you know, if you have two, that increases the uh, amount of, you know, shots that will actually hit infantry. So, you can't just simply sit in there and not be phased. More Penal Battalions getting produced for Red X-Wings. He wants to continue to have Penal Battalions as much as possible. Like I said, personally, I would get at least one Volksgren squad to maybe try and keep those Penal Battalions out of the field as much as possible. But considering that they're not really that expensive, I mean, they only cost, uh, what, two something? Uh, 270. I mean, yeah, it's only 30 more manpower compared to conscripts. It's not, not really that big a deal anymore, but, you know. Would still not be that bad of an idea, but eh, I don't know. What do I know? I'm definitely not anywhere near that rank. It won't be climbing up anytime soon, considering that I don't uh, play. I only cast. <laughs> Want to try and get some more games in there. Revive the uh, Becoming a Hero series maybe sometime soon, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, Fetal Battalion pushing into the center. 
SU-76 crossing the river. Nice positioning right at the edge, but making sure that they're not in the water and risking themselves. More mines getting laid down all over the place there for Red Wings. That is an excellent idea for him. He's spending all his munitions doing so, really, but, I mean, so far it seems worth it. SU-76 Barrage going off on the MG-34. MG-34 not really suffering too much from that. Hasn't actually taken a single shot directly to its face. Wow, they're hitting everywhere except where the SU where the MG-34 is. That did a little bit of splash damage. Wow, that is kind of pathetic. Puma coming in for the flank, trying to get the kill on the SU-76. SU-76 moving themselves to face the Puma. The Puma is forced to pop the smoke. SU-76 do get damage down to about half health. The other one uh, still at full strength. But the Puma did get taken down to half health, so it is forced to back off. Retreating squad drops a Shrek. A nice pickup here for Penal Battalion. Penal Battalion now equipped with a Shrek. This is going to be a quite bloody bastard there. And they're uh, going to be able to make it a little bit more easy for the, uh, or easier, I guess, to the, uh, for the Puma to, uh, sorry, for the SU-76 to uh, fend off that Puma. Peanut Battalion is, though, retreating as the uh, MG-34 forces it away. SU-76 once again to go for the barrage. Finally, a shot lands, and it manages to get some kills. Second shot lands very nearby, but the MG-34 manages to escape. That shot would have done the deal, but unfortunately it was already gone. Oh, nasty SC-76 barrage right on top of that Volkswagen squad. Volkswagen squad uh, house, I mean the house collapses behind the Volkswagen squad. Uh, they are moving out, but they do get reinforced since they're very close. And with Doctrine Selection uh, for uh, Red Wings, he goes for the Lend Lease Tactics and calls himself a uh, uh, an M4C Sherman. Very nice. Interesting composition. Double SU-76 with a Sherman. You don't see that, that that often. I mean, very nice. Very innovative, I guess. It makes sense, though. I mean, if you think about it, um, uh, the Tier 4 for, uh, for Red Wings doesn't provide him any uh, multi-purpose tank or more like an anti-infantry tank, you could say. Uh, yeah, the SU-76 is a great support gun. And it has that barrage that can slaughter infantry. Um, but the SU-85 really can't do much against infantry. You know, it only does weapons. Oh, nice shot there, but they get reinforced. Um, and the, uh, the Katusha, well, yeah, it's great as an artillery and such. But, yeah, I mean, you don't have, like, a main battle tank. And, yeah, I mean, the uh, Sherman, well, that's actually pretty much what it is. So SU-76 managing to... Uh, Pretty much uh, break the uh, the center. They're opening it up quite nicely. The uh, battle group headquarters is no longer safe. It just keeps getting shot at. Shots are now landing straight at it. Oh, whoa! No, they actually didn't take any damage. How does that work? Sherman's still getting repaired. It, it did take quite a bit of damage there to the Puma. The Puma is a big threat to a Sherman because it's a tank, uh, right? Penal Battalion on the right-hand side going for some capture. We have more Penal Battalions going around capturing. And we have Rakuten Warfare moving into the center. Uh, it actually does put itself in range of those SC-76. SC-76 need to back off a little bit and have at least some type of infantry around here to uh, to cover their flank and spot for them. Combat Engineers are laying down some more mines, so it's nice that those are set there. But a little bit of vision over on this side would be nice because the Rakuten Warfare pretty much has free reign to shoot at them. It doesn't see them just yet, but as soon as it sees them, it's going to shoot, so yeah. If you don't have the vision for them, if you don't have anything in front of them spotting, make sure you back them off. Keep them safe. For example, right there, the SC-76 is throwing a barrage. It's uh, nailing the bad group headquarters, and the Rakuten Warfare is right at range to shoot at them. Takes a shot, and it forces them to break their um, their uh, their barrages because, yeah, I mean, the, uh, they, they were not getting shot at. They're going to die. So they are down to... Uh, 25, no, 30, and maybe 50% strength, so they're going to take a little bit there to get prepared. The uh, Sherman is still on the field. It's around here in the center. Keeps getting shot up and damaged there by uh, by uh, the Puma, so not having too much luck there, but at least it is making sure that it doesn't get overrun, I suppose. Paul Schumjäger, Storm Pios. Storm Pios are there, but they should actually be repairing the battle group headquarters. They're not going to be doing too much. 
Uh, but yeah. A little bit of a standoff here. Penal Battalion going to push forward. The SU-76s are not in uh, great conditions yet. Uh, one of them is Veteran C2, which is great. It actually gives it uh, damage output and accuracy. But, um, but yeah, I mean, they're not pushing up. Interesting. Jack Panzer on the field for Wuhan Char. Again, very interesting decisions by these players. They uh, are using units that you don't see that often in the form of the S-76 and the, uh, the Jack Panzer. Usually you see, you know, players just go for the Panther or something like that instead. But I think the Yak Panther is, I mean, the Yak Panther is quite, quite good. Right hand side, Sherman doing what it must. Forces away the Storm Pioneer squad up in the North Penal Battalion getting a flank. No, nah, not really. That's a Jaeger Light Infantry. Grenade flies at them. Let's go off. Does a little bit of damage. The uh, flamethrower burst goes off on the Storm Pile squad and incinerates two of them, but they do not manage to catch the kill of the squad. Jaeger Light Infantry is just wrecking the uh, Penal Battalion. Penal Battalion forced to retreat down to two men, probably down to one before the day is over, and they yeah, they make it out alive just barely. The uh, Sherman moves up to engage the Jaeger Light Infantry are down to one man, and in the center we see another pushing Sherman getting right behind the squads as the SU-76s are facing the uh, the Yak Panzer. Yak Panzer taking some shots, but not taking too much damage. The Sherman managing to move up behind it, getting some shots off on the rear armor. The SC-76 could move in to support. Second Sherman moving in for the flank. The Puma is facing down the Sherman. The Sherman was exposing his rear armor to it. Shot from the Yak Panzer takes it down. The Puma is now uh, going to be focusing on the other Sherman. The Yak Panzer as well, but with its rear exposed, the SC-76 manages to take out the Yak Panzer, and they could potentially take out the Puma if he doesn't get out of the way. The SC-76 push forward a little bit. The Penal Battalions are trying to hold the center point. MB-34 uh, doing quite a lot of work here. Gets one squad pinned down, the other one suppressed. Forces the retreat of the Penal Battalions, and the SC-76 will also be forced to back off. One SC-76 brought down to a sliver of health, but getting veteran C3 in the process. It does manage to stay alive, which is nice, though, but whoa, that was very close. So Red Wings losing both of his Shermans in that engagement, but he did manage to pick up the kill on the Yak Panzer. Not entirely sure if that's worth it. If he had gotten the uh, the kill on the Puma, then yeah, that would have been a fine trade, two for two. So, and he he being the one keeping the uh, the advantage, but no. Su seventy six throwing a barrage into the point as it's getting capped. The Volkswagen is just GTFO. They don't want anything to do with that spot anymore. And uh, repairs are now underway on that severely damaged, but now Veteran C3, uh, SU-76, which it now fires with greater frequency, and uh, they sight the gun much quicker. So, yeah, I mean, rate of fire essentially has increased. What did I hear that collapsed, or what the hell? Yak Panzer looking like if it was in fine shape, but it was actually dead. That's a... Uh, Getting salvaged there. We see a Allied supply drop. Right into the base. It's gonna give him fuel. Fuel and fuel, so yeah, it gives him more fuel. And also calls himself a Dishka heavy machine gun. Very nice, interesting choice at this point in the game, but that will actually help out as we do see that Wuhan Shah does have a lot of infantry. I mean, right here in the center, we have three Volkskrin squads, and then on top of that, the MG-34. So a heavy machine gun to stop the approach of the infantry in this direction uh, actually will go a long way. Up in the north, SU-76 is moving around, Penal Battalion retreating, uh, but we do see a medical supply box up there. Oh, interesting. Puma backing off as it did take a little bit of damage. Another Yak Panzer getting produced for Wuhan Char. Dishka, heavy machine gun, now in the center. Needs to set up right now because there's an approaching uh, bunch of squads. Does manage to get some shots off on the infantry, but. Not too much. SC-76 throwing a barrage at the MG-34. 
No, the Rocket the Warfare actually. The Rocket the Warfare gets taken out, and if the SC-76 move up, they can actually just take out the weapon itself and make it a little bit more of a nuisance to uh, to get one. He would have to build it again rather than just recovering it. Up in the far north, Penal Battalion engaging Fallschirmjägers. These Fallschirmjägers are veteran C3, so that Penal Battalion needs to retreat. And veteran C1, they get uh, the, uh, the grenade, the frangible. Uh, reduces the chance that to be hit by enemy fire and allows the unit to hide in cover. Nice, gives them cloak at veteran C2. We'll check that, the rest of the uh, veteran C's later. So the Racket and Warfare is up here, and the uh, combat engineers are kind of going for it. Not really, but they're going in this direction. Another Sherman getting called onto the field. The uh, SC-76 are online and operational and ready to go. Veteran C2 and Veteran C3, so they have a lot under their belt. I mean, it's only four kills on the Veteran C2, but it's done a lot of damage to armor. And 19 kills to the Veteran C3, which is great. But the, uh, the amount of damage they inflict on those tanks uh, helps out so much. Sherman holding in front of the base up in the north. Penal Battalion retreating. And apparently a squad got taken out as it detonated the mine that they got laid there uh, because the Yak Panzer uh, took a shot at it, or a shot at them, and it hit the mine, exploded the mine, and down went a squad. Penal Battalion is pushing out. Heavy machine gun holding the uh, center. Victory points are 172 for Red Wings and 375 for Mr. Wuhan. So Wuhan does have a nice little buffer there, pretty much more than twice the uh, the point lead. So yeah, and he currently holds the uh, two points, so you know the bleed is in his favor. So he does have a lot of time. Su-76 is moving into the center. The Sherman moving up through the north. We do still have the Puma on the field. The Puma is over here up in the north. The uh, Yak Panzer is. Sitting in the center, the penal battalions don't have too much to worry about it. MG-34 trying to get cleared out, but it keeps getting reinforced on the fly. It's now up to uh, three men, so they were unable to clear it out. This uh, penal battalion does have a Shrek equipped, so they could potentially do damage to the Jack Panzer, but they don't. Not right now, at least. SC-76 covering up in the north as the Puma is nearby, but nothing is happening just yet. A barrage up over here would be great from those SC-76s, but they are going to back off right now just to cover to make sure no vehicles come up behind them or anything. Heavy machine gun stopping the uh, Storm Pile Squad in the center. Not going to stop them from capturing the point, although they do get pinned, so maybe it will. Yak Panzer pushing all the way to the front. The SC-76s are now a little bit out of position. They take a barrage there at the, uh, the Puma. The Puma does go down at the end to the Veteran C3-1, but one of the SC-76s goes down. The Yak Panzer is now trying to phase the Sherman. The SC-76 is getting nice shots there on the uh, on the Yak Panzer. Yak Panzer go down. Sherman loses its main gun, but stays alive in a nice, nice pickup here for Red Wings. That was the engagement that he needed. Does manage to keep his tank alive. And the, uh, the Volks Grenadiers with Treks are quite a threat. I mean, one of them is the one that took out this SC-76. But they, uh, they're now getting assaulted by penals. Nasty grenade goes off there on one of the penal battalions. They take a lot of health damage there. Still five men left, but about 25% strength in total. So they are very low each. Second penal battalion still trying to hold the line. Could throw a satchel at these guys, but it's probably going to be wasted as they're most likely going to be retreating. Heavy machine gun behind them trying to support. It is getting some shots off on that uh, Volkswagen squad. Volkswagen squad is forced to retreat. Storm Pioneer squad closing the distance, getting right on top of the heavy machine gun. The uh, Penal Battalion with its flamethrower may be able to help out. SC-76 at range getting shot off. Oh, a nice barrage here by the SC-76. Nails the Storm Pioneer squad down to two men, and they are forced on the retreat. Shots continue to fly. These shots a little bit too close for comfort for the heavy machine gun, and it looks like he manages to get two friendly kills in total 100 points however are left for red wings so uh like i always say he is running out of time he needs to stabilize and at the very least control one point so he buys himself more time and then control and secure a second one but he cannot do that if he cannot inflict sufficient casualties and the uh 
German infantry, the OKW infantry, have a lot of veterans here under their belt. I mean, with the exception of the replacement, I mean, it's nothing lower than veterans with three. Penal Battalion engaging bo both bulks. I mean, two Penal Battalion. Ah, Penal Battalion engaging both bulk strength squads at Veterans Day 5. Force of retreat, not really going to have too much luck there. Another Sherman on the field. We hear more shots fly. The uh, tank in the center explodes in a ball of flame. And the Sherman up in the north engages the uh, bulk strength squad. Bulk strength squad is at three men. Shots fly from the Shrek. And the 50 cal machine gun on top will get researched eventually, but it'll take a bit. Another Puma on the field. The Yak Panzer did die, so the Puma is the only threat there. SC-76s are... I mean, SC-76 is... Over here on the right-hand side, throwing a barrage. The second Sherman is brought into the mix. But the Sherman over here is very low in health. The Puma may actually be able to take it down. No, it does not pursue, and the Sherman stays alive and now needs to move back and get repairs. SC-76 over here taking some shots at the approaching infantry. The Sherman is now right on top of these Grenz. Second Sherman moves up to take some shots. It may be very low in health, but it still has a gun, for God's sakes, and it can shoot. But the North Penal Battalion already captured the victory points, so it slows down the ticks to one point per tick. So buying himself a little bit of time, but not too much. Still running out of it. Retreat point has been established here for Wuhan shot, so all his troops are right there. A barrage right there from the SC-76 would be marvelous, but I'm not sure if that is what he's uh, intending on doing. Fifth, uh, heavy machine gun stopping a uh, Volkswagen squad there out in the open. Gets it suppressed. We'll get pinned down eventually. Penal Battalion in the center decapped that victory point. Stops the bleed and the right hand side point has also been decapped which means that the points are now bleeding one point per tick in the direction of Wuhan Char. Artillery barrages into the, uh, the battle group headquarters doing some damage. Sherman up in the north getting caught by the Puma. The Puma is able to inflict a lot of damage there on the Sherman. Second Sherman is back over here, still getting repaired now at about 30% strength, maybe 40. Penal Battalion in the center forces to retreat, or forced to retreat. Uh, it does manage to capture the center victory point, as well as the right-hand side point has been captured. So the triple cap currently going against Wuhan Char. Wuhan Char, again, he has a lot of time, but um, not for a triple cap. A triple cap is surprisingly quick in the uh, time that it drains your points. So this Volshimiaker squad needs to move a little bit. There it goes, moves up into the center. Now going to capture the point. Heavy machine gun. Force to retreat from the center at one man left. Falshim Jaegers move out of the way as it is getting shot at, at from a distance from the uh, a stolen Rakitenwerfer and the uh, SC-76. Barrage flying into the church. Not entirely sure he uh, was intending to hit the church, but that's what happened. Shots flying across the... Uh, Church not managing to hit too much, but they're now there. Shrek's flying at the SC 76. SC 76 is now going to be having to back off a little bit once again. We do have another Yak Panzer on the field for Wuhan Shar as he makes his push. Far right hand side, Falsche Jaeger spots capturing that victory point, and the Penal Battalion unable to really stop that. Retreat from the Volksgren squad. Sherman in the center trying to hold the line. Katusha now coming onto the field. That ah, definitely is an interesting choice. I mean, yeah, there is a lot of clump up here of infantry, so I suppose that's kind of good. But it is very inaccurate to be effective, so we'll see what happens. Yak Panzer pushing into the center, going to be covering the Volkscreens as they've capped the point. Right-hand side point has gotten capped, so the bleed is once again in the direction of Red X-Wings. Penal Battalion on the north force to retreat. We have another uh, vehicle on the field in the way of the Katusha. Katusha moves up. We'll probably take a barrage right now. Does have a target there, but no. Moves up right in front. The uh, Sherman is right there. The Katusha could throw a barrage, but no. Decides to back off into a little bit of safety right now. It knows where they are. Throws the barrage. And... And misses completely. And... Misses completely again. And they move into the zone. Oh! So the Volksgrins decide to do the job for the Katusha and move themselves into the zone. Another barrage goes off, eliminating an entire squad. Volksgren squad with a Shrek and Veteran G5 now down to two men. They are getting reinforced, but this uh, penal battalion in the center is the one that has a Shrek. No, never mind, that's not the one. There is a racket and warfare nearby. They actually took the shot there at the Yak Panzer. Penal battalion trying to take the victory point. 39 points left for Red Wings. Is 
center point is captured. Volkswagen squad moving over on the left hand side. We have uh, SU-76 nearby. We also have the Katusha out in the open and the Yak Panzer over on the right hand side. So nobody actually looking at each other directly. Penal Battalion up in this victory point trying to stop the Volkswagen squad from trying to go for the cap. Rakuten Warfare behind it, 300 points left for Mr. Wuhan Shot. Again, that's a lot of time, but he is starting to lose a lot of troops. Penal Battalion in the center taking a lot of damage, forced to retreat. Down to two men, and the uh, Storm Pilot Squad will go for the cap. There is a heavy machine gun that is, or was nearby to stop them. Storm Pilot Squad is going to try and capture the point. No, they actually move themselves outside of the point. Rakuten Warfare turning itself around to face the Puma. The Puma's going to get shot in the face. There it goes. And a barrage from the SC-76 trying to stop the approaching Storm Pioneer Squad. Storm Pioneer Squad does hold its ground. No, it pushes forward as the shot flies in their direction. It's almost as if they knew. And the, uh, the Rakuten Warfare will be forced to retreat. The Heavy Machine Gun turns itself around to face the uh, Storm Pio Squad. The Storm Pio Squad is pinned down, forced to retreat as well. And the... Yak Panzer is pushing forward. The SC-76 crosses the river down to a sliver of health. The Katusha is also there, but uh, still at full strength, obviously. The uh, Sherman did end up dying. Another Sherman gets called onto the field up in the far north. We have a penal battalion burning the uh, Mechanized Regiment headquarters, but not really doing too much because, well, I mean, the flamethrower will damage it, but not very quickly. Yak Panzer moving up to the uh, Mechanized Regiment headquarters a little bit. Katusha Barrage flying into the center. We see the Rakuten Warfare getting recovered. Oh, nasty shots there by the Katusha. Katusha actually doing surprisingly well. 13 kills to its name already. That's not something you see every day. SC-76, unfortunately, is not uh, in working order. It's barely at about 25% strength, so it's going to need a lot more than that. Yak Panzer does end up getting taken out to what I don't particularly know. It looks like it got taken out to a satchel charge, and that was actually quite impressive. And not entirely sure who left Wuhan Shah, replaced by AI. So yeah, Wuhan Shah throws in the towel after losing his uh, his uh, Yak Panzer, and that is game. Wow, interesting. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the game. If you have any positive or negative remarks, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you have any replays you want to send me, go ahead and send them to the email that I will put in the description. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.